Welcome back to Market Pros. Okay, so we have Bitcoin on Bybit, the daily. So as you can see here, it looks like we came back down or we came down and touched this line right here. But if you zoom in, you'll find out that not quite just yet. Uh, so your moving averages, your 50 across the 100 not too long ago um so it's not looking good for the trend long story short uh the trend is down 50 just had a fresh cross to the 100 and that was before the pump so it was kind of like a little fake out rally um your momentum has completely just not i mean sorry i just jumbled my words <laughs> just woke up like 20 minutes ago um so yeah your momentum is down as you can see you've been riding in the bearish control zone there for a minute you are below the signal line again it was just contracting uh back and forth you know contracting and diverging away from it um your macd fresh retest fresh resumption your negative momentum is picking up on the histogram here your bbwp is in the lower zone I mean, your vol is pretty flat right now. Uh, you know, you did tick up a little bit on this dump, but not too much. Um, I mean, you're still in the lower zone here. Let's zoom in down to the eight hour. So <clears throat> you could have could have some sort of curved bottom here. But honestly, I mean, I think you either get a retest of this line this this uh last diagonal support that we broke through now being resistance right where that 21 is possibly even front ran in this purple zone i have an alert right here at the bottom of this purple zone i want to know as soon as it enters it at 37000 all right so your momentum on the medium term is still looks like shit uh, you're still in the bearish control zone. You did get out of the bear, bearish control zone, but you did not get in that bullish control zone when you had this last pump. Got rejected from the purple zone. Your negative momentum looks like it might be taking a break. Your MACD line is losing. There uh, did get a tick of a change in its downside curvature. Um, your vol is pretty high right now on the medium term time frame the eight hour uh i mean as you see when you got when you started getting this pump that's when you your volatility really picked up uh let's go down to the four hour all your moving averages do have negative slopes they are fanning out uh this trend could be picking up i mean honestly whether we bounce up here or not i think we're gonna test this level i mean it could have got front ran the bullish case is that this is the bottom, uh, and it and this support got front ran, and that your your RSI you would get out of the bearish control zone. Your MACD you would cross to the upside. Your negative your histogram would start printing green bars. Your vol totally cracked down as you're kind of consolidating here. If this was the bounce, if like this was the break of the downside. You know, like taking a break. This was that break from uh, from the dump. I think we're gonna crack down below this. Uh, so if it just shoots down from here and hits this level, I mean, probability is high that it would crack it. Uh, you are in the bearish control zone still. Your momentum, I mean, your momentum still doesn't look good on any time frame so far. You know, possibly on the one hour. We'll get to that in a minute. Your MACD. I mean, it is curling over, but this could just be a retest. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if your MACD does cross to the upside. You get to the top of the bearish control zone, which would also lead you about to the 21, possibly to the top of the purple region. And then you get rejected uh, and get everybody, you know, fake everybody out, get the BART action, you know, and... Then crack back down, come back down to this level at 35k. We almost hit it. We came down to 35, 220. We were talking about 35. So 
If this was the bottom, I'd say close enough. I'm not quite sure that it's the bottom, though. Uh, let's move down to the one hour. So, yeah, I mean, you're going sideways a little bit down to the right. Uh, your momentum, if you could break this 21, I think you go up to the 50 either way. You know, basically the top of this consolidation. Uh, you, so your MACD, your negative, your positive momentum is starting to increase uh, on the histogram. You do have a pretty nice upside curvature on the MACD and the signal line. Um, that right now it doesn't look like you're coming down for a retest or anything like that. BBWP is in the lower zone, so I think there'll be a move pretty soon. Um, or we go sideways more. I mean, right now we're riding the POC point of control, the second point of control, actually the third point of control on the VPVR. Um, so if we can break that, I think we go up to the 50. So basically if we break 36, 130 on a one hour closure, I think we go up to the 50, probably get a rejection on the first pass. But honestly, I think we would at least get up to where I got my alert, possibly up to this last diagonal support that we broke. So, um, let me see here. Yeah, validation of the upside. Validation of the upside, and this being a bear trap, which would be the bullish case, would be to get back above this 100 on a one-hour closure. That's it. Just a one-hour closure above this uh, diagonal support term resistance. Validation of the downside would be to break this level. If we do break that level, I think we come down to somewhere in this box. That, that's the thing. I don't know where it could bottom out because things could get front ran, things could get over ran. A lot of people are looking at these levels, uh, especially like 34. Uh, so maybe we just get a wick down and close still above this, you know, let's find out. I mean, if you're DCAing, this is what I would do. Um, no, never mind. Because I don't want this to be construed as financial advice. So <clears throat> you can kind of figure out what I'll be doing. You know, that's not financial advice. It's just my opinion. And yeah. So those are my thoughts for Bitcoin. If you guys like the video, like and subscribe to the channel. And everyone have a great morning, great afternoon.